Hi, my name is Maureen. I am a product designer and I will show you how I do customer journey mapping with Miro. Compared to other tools, I like using Miro for this because I can visually map out the whole journey on a canvas without any limits. On this part, we did a journey mapping workshop with our users who use business intelligence tools so that we can better understand their needs. So here at the top, we break up the journey into broad phases and under that we map out the journey steps. Then we ask the users to walk us through each step of their journey, sharing how things work, what their needs are, their pains and gains, and the touch points they encounter. Miro actually makes this process quite painless because we can just share this map with our users and fill it out together with them, making any changes as we go. As you can see, all of this is done in a table and it's very easy to just add a column or move things around. The content is also auto-fitted to the table, so if I want to add a bigger sticky note that really stands out, then the column automatically adjusts to that. To make the user journey even more convincing, I also add insights and data points from previous user research, and this might include frames from other boards or entire research boards. The next step is to brainstorm ideas on how we can improve the experience in each step of the journey. So here I led a workshop session with my team and stakeholders, and we would start with the objectives and the focus, then have a brainstorm session and bucket all of our ideas in different topics. In the past, I would have to switch between different tools for the workshop, but here I like that I can present my workshop instructions and background slides in presentation mode in the beginning, and then just easily switch to free panning on the board when we start workshopping. After that, I would prioritize and flesh out the most impactful ideas. So the output of the workshop is a new swim lane in the user journey called idea mapping, and this is where I collected all the ideas from the workshop. You can see here that the ideas are mapped to each step in these cards, which are also expandable, so we can add more details. Here we can directly convert ideas into Jira tickets, which can be tracked here for visibility. So now I have a complete and visual overview that shows the gaps and opportunities of the current user experience, as well as where we aspire to be. Now, to share this out in a digestible way, I like to record a talk track where I can really explain the process and bring more context to the ideas we are proposing. The product teams at Miro use Confluence for work implementation, so I usually try to embed this board there to make sure that everyone can find the information easily. So yeah, I hope my process is helpful to you and inspires you to also start using Miro for user journey mapping. I'll be sharing my template in Miroverse, and if you have any questions, feel free to tag me in the community forum. Thanks for watching.